So I think the winner of this fight, um, I don't think Tyson, let's say Tyson Fury wins. I don't think Tyson Fury is the best heavyweight of all time. Bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit, 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 bullshit! You know, because I don't even have to go further than the last undisputed heavyweight champion is Lance Lewis. Now, granted, people say, oh, Lance Lewis was undefeated. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> yeah, but uh, Lance Lewis is in rare air. Because Lance Lewis has actually, a lot of people don't know this, he defeated everybody that he stepped in the ring with. Meaning if he had a loss, he, he got his revenge and got a win back after they, after they fought again. Even that draw that he had with Evander Holyfield, he avenged that draw because a lot of people thought that he got robbed for the undisputed title the first time. He, he, he avenged that by fighting him again and winning uh, um, decisively, you know what I'm saying? So uh, you could argue that's just as good as being undefeated, you know what I mean? From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. So, you know, check me. Check this out, man. Y'all know I like to usually be in the back. Well, sometimes I'm in the front as well. But, uh, there's too many mosquitoes out there, man. Fuck! 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 You know, uh, <laughs> right after the tornadoes, we had a flood warning. So, uh, the mosquitoes out there crazy, man. There's a lot of water back there, too. So, you know, we in the front today with Kimba and Bandit. You see him right there. But um, yeah, so uh, I want to talk to y'all about Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury, man. The undisputed battle is is upon us. It's imminent, right? It's this Saturday, you know, and um, this is what the first undisputed battle at heavyweight um in 25 years, you know, a quarter a, qu a quarter century, right? So that's a long time, you know, and um, a lot of people are wondering, uh, does this battle, does this fight, does this bout, uh, is the winner? Does the winner determine who's the best heavyweight? What? I'm like of this era. You know, yeah, maybe, but of all time, I, th I think we got to kind of slow down, but let's talk about the challenges that they pose for each other, you know, Tyson Fury, um, his best win is uh, Deontay Wilder, you know, he had a war with him, a lot of people like to discredit Deontay Wilder, and I think it's r wrong to do that, wrongfully so, you know, they say that he had a, uh, a lucky 10 year streak, and, and, and six, of the, and six of those years he was a champion. Uh, but it's just funny how people would say you could you could have a lucky ten year streak, and the same people have a hard time having a lucky day. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Imagine having lucky days for, for for ten years long. So I think that um, yes, we know Deontay Wilder was um, he wasn't the best fundamentally, but he had the equalizer in his right hand, and he uses athleticism to the best of his ability, and he maximizes his talent. That's something we should all do, you know. Um, so um, and 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 more importantly, he was undefeated at the time of Tyson Fury's. And his class, you know, to determine who was the best heavyweight at that time. And I still think it, 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 it holds true today. I think Tyson Fury won. And I think he's the best of this era currently. Is he though? Um, you know, and I don't think people should, uh, should shy away from that. I think his second best winner would probably be an older Klitschko. Um, you know, um, so I think uh, his record is a little bit better than... Uh, Alexander Usyk, whose who's, who's, who's record is also impressive, you know what I'm saying? Because he, he, he's, he's undisputed at cruiserweight already, right? But we talk more so focused on his heavyweight tenure, and uh, which is very impressive, you know, being undisputed heavyweight, uh, cruiserweight, undisputed at any, any weight class is, is, is very impressive. And now he's moving up to heavyweight, and I think his best heavyweight win was, uh, I don't think any question, it was Anthony Joshua. You know, he beat him twice, and um, let's look at Anthony Joshua's record, and his resume, you know, his, um, all of a sudden, Usyk beat Anthony Joshua. He wasn't undefeated, you know, he was for lack of a better term, exposed by the uh, mediocre um, heavyweight, no disrespect, mediocre heavyweight Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz uh, exposed his chin and uh, and dropped him, you know, and uh, Anthony Joshua did get his revenge on that, but I think that's his best win significantly at, at, at heavyweight, you know, that being Alexander Usyk. Um, so while Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder are both top heavyweights, or well, former both top heavyweights, especially Anthony Joshua being so now, Deontay Wilder not, not so much, you know, he fell off, uh, you know, age and everything, but uh, he fell off as of now. But, um, hold, hold on real quick. Let me call Kimba. Kimba over there by the front. The car's coming. Give me a second. Kimba. Come here, man. All right, here, here he comes. He's coming back. I make sure he was in, by the road, you know. My dog's obedient. Yeah, what was I saying? Well, yeah, so Alexander Usyk, you know, his, his best was being Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua himself, his best one is probably... A older Klitschko, you know, he Tyson Fury beat an older Klitschko, but uh, uh, Anthony Joshua beat an even older one. I, I believe he was 41. Damn! I'm sorry. When Anthony Joshua beat him, so I think for heavyweight 
especially when you t consider heavyweight. I think you have to lean towards Tyson Fury having a better resume. You know, it's always more impressive to be the undefeated champion when you when you both clash as undefeated and and you and you and you the first person to crack the shell. You know, Usyk did beat Anthony Joshua twice, but you know, Anthony Joshua already suffered a defeat. Um, and he, he's look much better now with Ben Davidson, but you know that was against um, that's against uh, uh, Francis Ngannou, who's not even a fighter. Right now, I had a blister. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm not a boxer, excuse me, not even a boxer. And then I guess Otto Wallen, who who was um, who who was a sparring partner. You know, they have a, they have a history with each other, so they have some familiarity there. So it could be smoke and mirrors. But Anthony Joshua does pass the eye test. He does look better. So now back to the, their clash. You know. Uh, it reminds us again of uh, Lennox Lewis versus a Evander Holyfield, not just because it's an undisputed fight, but also because uh, it's a cruiserweight coming up to heavyweight again, you know, and, um, and you know, and that cruiserweight being undisputed before uh, in Evander Holyfield, just like Alexander Usyk. So I think the winner of this fight, um, I don't think Tyson, let's say Tyson Fury wins. I don't think Tyson Fury is the best heavyweight of all time. You know, because I don't even have to go further than the last undisputed heavyweight champion is Lance Lewis. Now, granted, people say, oh, Lance Lewis was undefeated. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Lance Lewis is in rare air because Lance Lewis has actually, a lot of people don't know this, he defeated everybody that he stepped in the ring with. Meaning, if he had a loss, he, he got his revenge and got a win back after they, after they fought again. Even that draw that he had with Evander Holyfield, he avenged that draw because a lot of people thought that he got robbed for the undisputed title the first time. He, he, he avenged that by fighting him again and winning uh, um, decisively, you know what I'm saying? So uh, you could argue that's just as good as being undefeated. You know, Lance Lewis is one of the few people that whether he win, lose, or if he had a loss with you or he had a draw with you, he beat you. You know, he beat everybody he stepped in the ring with, Lennox and Lion Lewis. So I don't think Tyson Fury could be considered better than him, but he's definitely strengthened his claim with the win becoming undisputed you know and i think that he's already the best of this era now um best heavyweight in this era um but all time uh he's all time he would be an all-time great but i don't think he would be the the best all-time great um and then so let's talk about um uh, uh alexander Usyk. let's look at the scenario of him him winning hypothetically you know that'll put him right there with evander holyfield you know being cruiserweight undisputed and heavyweight undisputed but once again i think just strictly off of the record and and the opposition or lack of in Usyk's case, I don't think you could put him over Evander Holyfield. Bullshit! 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 bullshit. So even if even though Evander Holyfield lost to Lennox Lewis um, for the undisputed, he already had undisputed at heavyweight and cruiserweight before. You know, so I think that Usyk would be considered among the top, especially cruiserweights going to heavyweight. But I don't think you could, you could put him over Evander Holyfield, in my opinion. You know, but it's definitely a conversation. So I'm looking forward to this fight on Saturday. Um, uh, they both pose different, different, different uh, threats to each other. I think Usyk is undoubtedly the most skilled fighter that um, Tyson Fury has ever fought, and then um, definitely Usyk is the. Uh, I mean, uh, Tyson Fury would be the biggest opposition that 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 Usyk has ever fought. So they both pose their unique challenges. I don't know who's going to win. I'm still leaning towards Tyson Fury. Um, yeah, I'm leaning towards Tyson Fury, you know, and I do think that, um, you know, whether you whether whether you like it or not, uh, Usyk had a very questionable win against Daniel Dubois going to that body. You know, he he has a, he has a history and a reputation of being uh, susceptible to body shots, and uh, you know, Daniel Dubois was on the belt line, was it under the belt line, was it legal, was it illegal? Leave it that's up to debate. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people think that uh, Daniel Dubois was robbed, which is what he came in at again. There's a body shot. Is that low? Let's have a look at that. Ooh. It's border, isn't it? Let's face it. Um, I'm okay with the decision, you know, but I, it's, it's, it's questionable. It is definitely questionable. <laughs> and if I'm Daniel Dubois, I would feel like a robbery. But um, yeah, so my point is that if Daniel Dubois can get to you, I think even though there's different styles of Tyson Fury, I think Tyson Fury will, will overcome. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. You know, this, this Saturday, good Lord willing, in uh, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, man, undisputed heavyweight battle man the first time we have an undisputed champion in 25 years a quarter century man y'all know what it is don't forget to like the video we out god bless man and remember with god we can do anything without god we're nothing doctors out peace from the hood to college both worlds they had to meet six degrees between us so cold we're about to freeze but we're florida boys hot takes we bring the heat we're moving the culture the engineers to the streets